Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Uh, we're going to be comparing the best selling truck in America to the new Tesla truck. And before we get into today's video, I'm going to just roll the intro. Now that the intro is out of the way, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how we're going to be comparing the, uh, the two trucks. Um, like I said, we're going to be comparing this truck uh, within six categories. One is how much it costs to buy initially, two, how much it costs to maintain, uh, three, the towing capacities, four, um, the driving range on a full tank of gas and also the full uh, charge on a Tesla truck. Uh, five, what it costs to fill the vehicles, uh, what, what a full tank costs the truck and what a full tank is going to, what a full battery charge is going to cost the Tesla. Six, the overall carbon footprint of each vehicle. Alright guys, now that we know how we're going to categorize this comparison, I'm going to start off with showing you guys um, exactly how I found out that the F-150 or the F-Series truck is actually the top selling truck in America. And I'm on my laptop and you should be able to see this now. This was a list that was created by Forbes.com about America's best selling trucks in 2019 from January to September is when they made it. And the Ford F series has 662,000 units sold, which means they sold 662 trucks. Uh, so we're gonna be comparing the F-150, the 2019 XL version um, of the truck compared to the base model of the Tesla. So let's remember I'm going to be comparing the base model of both trucks. So let's start off with the first category, the initial cost to buy. And how I found out how much an uh, F-150 costs, or at least the XL version, I went on Ford's actual website and you can go to model and specs. I clicked XL and this is what showed up. This is the base model, the four x two, you know, the two wheel drive. And it starts out at 28,495 bucks. And we're gonna go over to the Tesla now. And the Tesla at its base model with the single motor rear wheel drive is gonna start you around 40,000 bucks, which is 39,900 to be exact. Um, initially, the cost of the Tesla is obviously um, around $11,000 in difference. So the Tesla is, you know, pricier to buy initially. But um, this is just one category that the Ford would be beating the Tesla. Let's move on to category two. Uh, what they cost to maintain now. A 2019 Ford F-150, the XL, is going to cost you around $5,000 to maintain within the span of five years. So let's look at how they categorize it. In the first year, you're going to spend $226 on maintenance. The second year, it goes up to $634. The third year, $348. The fourth year, 1,841, and the fifth year, 1,899. So it's kind of clear to say that the Ford is going to cost you more in maintenance as the years go on, but that's any vehicle. Um, and like I said, it's around 5,000 bucks to maintain a Ford for about five years. The Tesla, let's see. The Tesla truck isn't out yet, so we can't really compare the truck's maintenance, but there is a Tesla Model 3 maintenance guide, and we're gonna now look down at it. And basically what they're saying is, um, they're recommending the tire rotation, alignment, and balancing of the wheels, uh, cabin air filter, brake fluid, wipers, and AC service. That's all it's gonna be when you're maintaining a Tesla. So let's go down and I'm going to show you, this is their conclusion. This is only a four year plan of maintaining a Tesla and the total is 980 bucks, which is actually considerably lower than the Ford. 
So we can assume that the Tesla truck is gonna be in the same range that the maintenance is gonna be considerably lower. Um, so we went from 5,000 to less than $1,000 within the span of four to five years with both vehicles. So we can obviously say that the Tesla won this one. So the Tesla has the truck beat in maintenance. So let's move on now to the third comparison, which is the towing capacities. Now the towing capacity of the F-150, let's go down to specifications. We gotta go down and find that 3.3 base model. Let's keep going. Okay, maximum conventional towing capacities. Let's go down to the 3.3. This is the four x two, which is the rear wheel drive version. And that is only 5,100 pounds. Let's go over to the Tesla. And her base model is now 7,500 pounds plus towing capacity. So the Tesla wins this comparison as well. Now that we're done comparing the towing capacities of both trucks, we're gonna move on to now driving range, how much range you're gonna get out of these vehicles um, on a full tank and a full charge. The F-150 XL will get you around 529 miles highway, 437 miles city. But this is actually the most economical truck that you can buy on the market. So that is astounding for a truck and um, that's outrageous for any vehicle right now in our day and time. But the Tesla will get you 250 miles on her base model on a uh, full charge which isn't bad, um, but the Ford definitely beats her in driving range. And now we can move forward onto comparing what they cost to fill. Now this is where the Tesla is gonna shine because the gas prices in the States right now is about $2.93 per gallon. And the cost of electricity, like a, a kilowatt is around, um, let me see. Yeah, a kilowatt is 13 cents. So, and it takes about $15.29 to fill a Tesla X. Uh, and the truck is gonna be around the same range. So, it costs about $67 because you would times the $2.93 by the 23 gallon tank that the F-150 has to get you $67 total to fill it in the States and it's about $15.30 to fill a Tesla. So I could fill my Tesla four, five, maybe six times compared to what it costs to fill an F-150 and I'll get way more range out of, the, out of the money that I'm putting in a Tesla than what I'm putting in a truck, uh, in the F-150. So Tesla definitely wins on what it costs to actually fill up the vehicle. Um, let's move on now to six, which is a carbon footprint. Um, obviously the Tesla doesn't have any emissions at all. The only emissions that Tesla is going to be responsible for the Tesla truck is going to be whatever power plant that you guys have in, in, in your neighborhood or in your city, because all of the emissions are going to be off of the generator or the wind farm or the solar panels that they're using to supply power to the Tesla charging plants or whatever power supply that you use at home to plug your Tesla in. On the other hand, the F-150 is gonna lose this comparison because she actually still emits carbon, um, carbon dioxide, which comes out the tailpipe because of obviously the internal combustion motor. And that's never good, especially for the environment, the way that things are going. So. If you're actually being um, conscious of the environment, the Tesla truck is the way to go. Now, we're gonna recap, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the Tesla is actually beating every truck on the market, because the F-150 XL is the top uh, selling truck in the States as we speak. The price to buy, obviously the um, F-150 is gonna be cheaper, so the F-150 bought um, won that category. Um, the cost to maintain, the Tesla truck has won that. Their towing capacities, the Tesla truck has also beaten the Ford in that one. 
the uh, driving range, the Ford One, uh, on a full tank and a full charge, the Ford actually can outdrive a Tesla truck. Um, the cost of filling it, uh, filling it at the gas pump or at the charging station, uh, the Tesla is only gonna, it, it, the Tesla wins that category because it only costs about 15 bucks to fill your Tesla's uh, driving range, uh, a full charge, I should say. And the carbon footprint, Tesla's gonna win that one as well because she doesn't emit anything. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one.